Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Kai. And if you watch any of my content, you will know that I am a massive fan of neon lights, as you can see in the background. And today we're going to look at creating this sci-fi neon cyberpunk effect in Photoshop to help give your photos that futuristic look. Okay, so let's jump into Photoshop and start looking at adding these neon lines. Here I have a selection of photos that I have already added this neon line effect to. And we're going to start off by adding it to this very scary looking picture of me wearing a neon mask. And what I want to do is start removing all of this background. I want this haze already. Now this was actually shot with a smoke machine and different colored lights to give this glow effect already. And what I can do in Photoshop is come over to this patch tool here. If you don't see it, just hold it down, select patch tool. And I can actually draw around the images that I want to remove and then move this over to a different part of the image. And Photoshop does a good job of just getting rid of those sections. And I can do that up here with this top light. Also this light over here, just draw around that, come over here. And I can start removing parts of this light stand, like so. Start getting rid of the actual bookcase in the background, as well as this light stand here as well. So I'll quickly do that. So what I want to do now is start adding in my neon lines and I can do that by coming over to my brush tool over here and then selecting the hardness up to 100 and maybe about 60 70 pixels for my line something like that looks adequate then I want to select my pen tool over here just the first pen tool and I want to draw a triangle that kind of encases my character here so I will draw the triangle like something like that what I want to do now is add a new layer down here go to my line right click and go to stroke path and I want to ensure that my brush is selected and hit OK and you can see my red solid line is there already now I want to double click on the layer just here and I want to go to the color overlay and I want to change this to the purple neon that's very similar to what I've got on my arm here. Then I want to go to the inner glow and, and we want to just increase the opacity slightly. We'll change the color to white and we will change the source to center. And again, pull the choker back to zero. And then I want to increase the size slightly. So we have this almost lightsaber halogen light effect. And what I'll do is I'll change the contour also to this rounded edge. And then bring the opacity just down slightly. So I've got this neon halogen light. Then I want to go to the outer glow. So I'll turn that on. And again, I'll change the color of this to my purple fluorescent and I want to change this to uh, Linear Dodge as the blending mode. And also I'll increase the size slightly. You can start to see a little bit of an outer glow now appearing. And I want to increase this by now going to the drop shadow. So turning that on. Changing the color again to the purple that I ch chose or something close to that, similar to that. And then just increasing the size of that glow as you can see here. And we'll say OK to that. So I actually want to increase the glow around my triangle. And in order to do this, I have to create a new triangle that I will use in the background. So what I can do is go to my brush tool, go to my size of the brush tool, change that to a thousand pixels and then bring the hardness down to zero. And again, what I want to do is go to my pen tool, uh, select my background, go to my pen tool, and I want to draw around my triangle again, like something like that. Then I want to create a new layer and I want to right click that and again go to stroke path and make sure the brush is selected. OK, and you can see we have our extra powerful glow, but we want to bring this down a little bit. In fact, let's change the blending mode to linear dodge 
and let's take the fill down to about 25 percent so what i want to do now is i want to put part of my halogen light in front of the mask of my character here so how can i do that well the first thing i need to do is i need to select both my layers and then hit Control g to group those images then i want to go to my background go to select go to subjects photoshop will now go to work finding the outline of my subject which has done a, a relatively good job and what i can do now is select my a group and hit this key here which is the add layer mask and as you can see it's added a layer according to that mask it's not the right way around so in order to correct that i can hit Control i on my keyboard and you can see that i have put the halogen light now behind my character actually i wanted to have this light in front of my character so how can i do that well i can select the mask and then i can come over to the brush tool and make sure that the white color is selected for the mask and then i can color this in i can paint this in and it's basically painting in the mask and the glow as well what i want to do now is just to give a little bit of an effect behind the head here so i want to add a new mask i'll go over to my brush tool and i'll reduce the size to about uh, about a hundred or so pixels and i'll just color in these edges here as you can see and what i'll do is i'll set the blending mode to linear dodge and i will decrease the fill slightly around that so it's just a tiny glow on the ears around our character now i can add in a hue and saturation layer turn on colorize and put the saturation up slightly and find that purple color that you're looking for which is probably about there what we can do with that now is just bring the fill down slightly so we've got that much more of a purple hue affecting our scene about there looking okay now i want to start adding in some additional smoke we can go to this website here called brusheasy.com if you click on top brushes you'll find a smoke photoshop brush and you can actually download that for free save your project close photoshop double click it and then you can open it again and you'll be able to find over here just close the general brushes and scroll down you will see that i have the free smoke brushes already so i just want to select one of those Please go to layer create a new layer and then just start let's take the size down to about 2000 and then just start dabbing then I, what i can do is add a layer mask here and change this to black and what it will do is it will start to subtract it's like it's like an alpha map it will start to subtract the cloud smoke effect and what we can then do with that effect is add in a linear dodge and also bring the opacity down slightly so we just have a very rough smoky effect around our character and another thing that you can do to add some dynamic contrast here would be to add a new layer go over to your brush tool add a general brush let's just go for the soft general brush make that about a thousand or so pixels and we can change the color of this to a blue contrasting color about here maybe about there Oops, about. and we can start dabbing this blue onto our new layer just over here uh, and again we can add a soft light to our image like so and we can play around with the opacity of that to add or take away from that contrasting blue so i can put some more blue up there put some more blue up there and there we have our moody neon smoky sci-fi futuristic scene so play around with the colors have a go with different effects and colors and contrasts and see what you can create and this is a great place to mention that if you haven't done so already don't forget to add yourself to the kai creative facebook and instagram feeds where you can stay up to date with all of our photography sessions video productions short films camera reviews and other creative happenings 
A massive shout out to Spoon Graphics for the original tutorial on this. Make sure that you go and follow them. I'll leave a link to their channel down in the description below. As always, if you found today's video useful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit that little bell for notifications. Now you might have noticed that we're actually pushing the boat out a little on the creative tutorials on this channel. We're still going to have camera and tech reviews, but hopefully we will give you more things to try out with your photos and videos. That's it from me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All that's left to say is stay creative, stay safe, imagine, implement and inspire. And I will see you next time on Kai Creative.